Welcome back to Target Field, where the Minnesota Twins have given Kyle Gibson a five-run lead as he makes his major league debut. I'm joined now by mom and dad Gibson. We're talking to Sharon and Harold, who have joined us all the way from Indiana. If there's one person who's more nervous on this day than Kyle, it's got to be mom. How are you feeling right now? I'm actually doing a lot better now that he got through the first inning. That first out on the first pitch was a relief so um, it's just exciting to be here I'm just thrilled for him and uh, we've got so many family members that are here that helps kind of keep the nerves a little calm so I'm doing well. yeah you said there were over 30 family members from really all over the country here what is this like for you to watch your son out there on a major league mound it's just indescribable it's such a blessing I mean he's been playing since he could throw a ball at three years old and and he had written a, a paper in second grade that said when I grow up I want to be a major league baseball player so his dreams coming true and I'm just so excited to get to be here to share it with him and uh, it's just a dream come true we're so blessed well he's certainly fun to watch now Harold I got a chance to talk to Kyle a couple days ago and he said really that first out would be really key for him to get had to be a big relief for you to see it come on the very first pitch well, absolutely. Anytime you can get an out on one pitch, uh, being a former pitcher, that's what you want. So for me, you're right. It was uh, probably maybe more of a relief for me than him, but uh, yeah, it was good to see. You're a baseball guy. He credits you with really giving him that love of baseball. You coached him in high school, I, th I think. Is that right? Yeah, I was an assistant on the team, and uh, yeah, it was fun to be around. So absolutely. Tell us a little bit about Kyle, the person behind the player. As we're cheering him on. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you on that. It's okay, you're trying to watch your son pitch, I get it. Um, just tell us a little more, we don't know too much about Kyle. What is he like on and off the field? What are the twins getting in him? Well, Kyle's pretty competitive. Uh, whether we're playing cards or we're playing putt-putt or we're out fishing or whatever it is, he's gonna be pretty competitive. So I, I think they've got that. I think that, uh, I think Kyle's a guy that wants to give his team a chance to win. Uh, I think he understands his role. I, I'd like to think that he keeps things in perspective pretty much. He doesn't get too high or he doesn't get too low, and we've talked about that. So uh, hopefully they'll get a pitcher that'll put on a few more pounds, though, as well, do a little more longevity. So. Absolutely. We're going to bring in um, Kyle's high school baseball coach as well. You said you had a conversation with him recently. What would you tell him coming into this big day? Oh, I couldn't give him anything that he has already prepared himself for. Kyle's got a great established foundation due to his parents and his upbringing, but I just said he's ready for it and uh, be excited and, and, and take take a chance and go ahead and do what you what you do. And he he's doing fine right now. Did you have any idea watching that kid on the mound in high school that he'd turn into this? Um, I knew that he had the potential. Um, certainly he has a lot of tools, but I think what makes Kyle special is um, he doesn't take anything for granted. He understands how hard he had to work. Uh, his mental preparation, his focus, his concentration uh, allowed him to take all of those God-given abilities and uh, put it into work, and that's why he's here. All right, thanks. We do want to bring in Kyle's wife, Elizabeth, for one quick question. My big question, how did he sleep last night? Uh, I think he did okay, probably tossed and turned a little bit, but he got some sleep, so... Glad for that. Well, it's very exciting. We thank you all for joining us. Kyle Gibson doing a great job so far here in the third inning, Dickenberg. Well, thank you, Jamie. Yeah. Nice to hear from the folks and the wife and the coach. Very nice.